A quick announcement for if you want to take your trading to the next level. I recently started a profitable trading signal group in which I show you and I send signals of all of my trades. If you want to join this group or if you're interested in that, go check out the first link down in the description or in the pinned comment. Yes, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this new video in which I wanted to cover Injective and the INJ token. Um, it was requested quite a lot by a few of you, so I wanted, uh, wanted to do an analysis and an update for, uh, for all of you. But apart from that, I like Injective a lot. has been very bullish and trending, I guess you should, uh, should say, uh, lately as well. So I wanted to take a look at it. Uh, technically, it's, it's quite interesting because, uh, well, we'll talk about that. But, but I mean, in, in the end, I cannot talk. Technically, we're still very bullish, but there are some, um, uh, some indicators that there's some sort of a consolidation going on, or at least some sideways price action as well. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. Right now, INJ uh, has been quite bullish for the last two days, as you can see, together with the entire market. Uh, our main breakout was $3.5, broke above that, and ever since we have held that, uh, we're trying to break above our main resistance four dollars and four point one, which has been our resistance for the well for, for the last month basically. Um, and apart from that, uh, today is not necessarily a special day for Injective. Very sideways movement. Uh, we're almost at the same levels as uh, as we were yesterday. Um, uh, yeah, twenty four hours ago. Um, so not a lot has happened, but in the end, we are still at very important price levels. Uh, we're testing the three eight two fib. As I said, we're trying to get above $4, 4.1. We're now in this level between 3.5 and that resistance level. Um, so as I said, I think the uh, I think the overall trend in the market is still bullish. I mean, Bitcoin as well right now, it's actually recovering fairly well over the course of today. Um, an injective altogether, if you if you take a look at the daily, for example, you can see that this is still uh, this, this is still looking bullish, right? Um, you, I mean, you, you might, if we actually go over 4.1, you might start an argument about whether a double top is forming, but for now, I'd say it's still bullish. EMAs are also still indicating it's bullish, but here you can see that, for example, the 50 EMA uh, and the 28 EMA, which is uh, the blue and the red line, they're kind of in, in, in the middle of the price already. And that's a, an indication of, uh, of consolidation or at least sideways movement. Um, but all right, as I said, my bias is still bullish. I do think that now that we have, uh, there's this minor level around 3.8, we've broke down, broken down below that. I do think we're dropping a little bit lower uh, towards this level right here at 3.58 and ultimately 3.45, but that's a very strong level. So I think that's strong enough uh, together with the momentum that Injective has and together with the momentum that uh, the market has uh, to get back up to that level at $4 and 4.1. Now. And then the question arises, obviously, can we break through 4.1 and $4 at some point? And I do think so. Uh, Injective altogether, also the ecosystem behind it is, is doing fairly well. Uh, the biggest decentralized exchange on the um, in the network is Helix. And Helix, for example, if you take a look over the, at the total value locked, ever, the, uh, ever since the beginning of the year, um, we've gone up. Right now, the total value locked is 13 million. Beginning of the year, it was around 8 million. So that has gone up by about 50, 60 percent. So the ecosystem behind Injective is doing great. Uh, so therefore, I do think that if the market can at least stay bullish like it is, and that at some point we will get up to four dollars and four point one, then it will actually be able to hold three point nine as a support. And if that happens, we're going over and we're going to four point five. That's my price target. That's the lowest area of this whole key area between four point five and four point seven. That's what we're aiming for. It could it, it could still very well take some time before we get there. I mean, um, at some point, I expect us to break above four dollars. Doesn't mean that it's uh, doesn't mean that it's tomorrow, right? Um, but yeah, so that's my take on Injective for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.